My friends, welcome back. We are playing as the Moth Swarm. I'm looking so much forward to this one. So we have our enemy at a 100% war exhaust, so I doubt that they will send a lot towards us. This means that once all of our fleets are ready and able and done, we are going to be pushing out. Uh, I believe we're already moving the fleet toward where our navy is. I'm very excited about this. In all honesty, I'm, I'm really... Ex ex I'm, so excited <laughs> man i love war i really love war in this game it's been amazing uh, we got a few stations we can build one more do we have the naval logistics so yes we do need that so we can boost up our fleets even more oh there we go oh you're building something that is so nice of you he just constructed the station over here absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i don't want to get my fleet too far away um because it is not being supported by the second fleet because it is going to be upgraded so we're going to be pushing out slowly this is a gorgeous position for a station absolutely fantastic um we're going to be claiming all of this before pushing forward into this location now because they declared war upon me which is absolutely fantastic it's going to take us some time before we are ready to do anything else so slowly we will go we are awaiting all of this which is nice shall we go towards turret um it is currently being repaired which is quite nice and like i said we don't have to rush things let's go to the second speed while saying that oh look at that you guys you shouldn't have uh, ending the threat set war goal we could humiliate i don't really see the point in that it's not like we can actually do something about it so that means we do want to end this war pretty soon you are currently are you going to merge yes and these guys you need to hurry up over there so i wonder what kind of fleets they are sending now we knew this was going to be a bit of a uh, a rough one so let us send this fleet all the way up there so we can at least defend and uh, we can also uh, retrofit in gore so there's no real imminent danger we could actually get these two which would make this a very defendable location um actually considering doing so you have no orders let's uh, at least give you a few i didn't think i was going to be fighting several wars at the same time but now that it is happening i'm actually okay with it uh, we just have to be micromanaging a few things. Also making sure that we will get enough of the jobs. Let's slow down a bit more. So I don't lose track of things because I am a dum dumb like that. We will immediately go towards this station because it is a defendable station. And we will push forward the same way as we did with this war. We are going to be playing the waiting game. We are not nearly there yet. So just going in there just makes no sense. What is all of these doing here? Um, you need a few more ships. Let's see. You. It's just a bloody mess like this. Just, uh, just merge. Let's wait. What is going on? Custom name, leader skill, fleet size. It is 30. Okay, so uh, we are going on that thing again, huh? 2 or 5. So what we need is 3 destroyers. You are a Corvette. Okay, let's send you over there. You are also a Corvette. Uh, this happens to me on, on several occasions, which is um, quite annoying. You are merging up. These are at least two. You are a destroyer. And you are also a destroyer. So let's go over there. So it's actually you. 
that needs to merge with all of these. Can we just please select this? Yes. So we're going to be pushing you ahead so we can get a bit of a, of a look on what is going on. Like I said, I immediately want to go for this station. They will start pushing in their fleet. They are apparently superior in force. Now we know how that goes. We'll just have to reinforce. We need to keep our ally count up. No problem there. We just need to make sure. If we lose a fleet, we're, we're, we're pretty much boned. <laughs> oh boy, we are boned. Oh, trust me. Uh, so, those are going over there. Everyone should now be moving. You are a destroyer. Go over there and merge together with them. Oh, look at that. You got way too many Corvettes. Why? Why is that? And I can still reinforce. This makes so little sense because it wants to reinforce for these, but it just has too many, too many Corvettes. Okay, well, we'll lose a few. It's, it's fine. It is all fine. We just don't need to reinforce at the moment. So, they will be fighting over there. Oh, there we go. Where is the... Oh, there, yeah, that's the fight. That's the fight. No worries. No worries. Okay, construction has been complete. Let's build up that station. Uh, going for the one with the science next. So there is our fleet. Hopefully still nothing is going... In. I want this station because we can... It is a choke point. Choke points are the best. Definitely the best. Shield nullification. Now this is something that we need to consider. Because I believe that we are pretty heavy on the shields. So fighting in here with just shields... Is not going to do anything. We want to make sure that we are going to be extremely heavy on the armor damage. And heavy on the armor as well. So we're going for gore. We'll take this one and we might retrofit this one fleet into a different design. So we're going to be looking into that quite soon. You are... Cancel. Can we just select you? Okay, you're going into that direction. You are going over there. Okay, you are done. Well, I guess we'll have to just do it like this. Let us take down that base. Here we go. We got some unity. Let's take this. Hostile swarm. Oh, yeah, what a hostile swarm that is. Let's see, what we got? Administrative capacity, plus 20, I guess. Uh, civic slots. Oh yeah, civic slots is quite nice. It's very expensive. Maybe tile blockers would be more interesting. Although, the civic slot's really powerful. How about you? Iron thrusters, quite nice, I like those. A defensive platform, combat, building speed and cost. Yes, please. That is definitely going to contribute to not losing... Well, actually, not gaining as much war exhaustion. Okay, we send spray. So he's almost there. He is 5, he is 20. We can upgrade. We're not going to because we're going to be flipping him. I wish that we could see... What kind of fleet he has. But if we're going to be remaining in this station for the time being. Having a different design is not too bad. So let us go to fleet. And new design. Corvette. Actually yeah that's this one. A new design. Actually we could probably just do it like this. So this is a lot of shield damage. But... What we actually need now is armor damage. A lot of it. And armor. The afterburner is already. Can we auto upgrade? Yes, new iron thrusters. Looks very, very nice. Ship's firing rate. Um, with evasion. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So this is going to be the, the type anti... Uh, no shield. Yeah, that's how you spell shield this way. So yeah, English number one. No shields. Heavy 
armor. There we go. So we have a new ship now, the no shields and the heavy armor. As for our destroyer, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. Blue lasers, yes it will hurt us a bit, but once these shields go out, we are making short work of the enemy. Unless they have um, anti uh, or missiles, we might have to get on a missile boat in here. So let's get all of that armor, let's auto upgrade and let's go, um, no, no shield, heavy armor. And of course, they don't want to because we might be... Are we building ships? No, we're not. Then what is your problem? Okay, here we go. So... No shield. Heavy. Mm. Go anti-armor. Anti-armor. I, I'm so bad at names. <laughs> I'm so bad at names. Uh, but there we go. So we got this fleet over here. Which is now going... Let's go to the ship designer. Um, it is my first one, right? Yeah, the the, uh, the Reckon is great. So you are going to retrofit into the Corvette. And you're going to do the anti-armor. It's going to be not too expensive, luckily for us. So we're going to be waiting until he's there. Okay, you are going over there. We still have enough alloys, so that is fine. Oh boy. Mm. I think we can manage this. Can we manage this? I say we do need to attack. You're going over there. You are going in here as well. We will now lose some ships. That is unfortunate. There are a several amounts of ships over here. I wonder how this fight will be. So we still have that station which is not the best. So the station is falling. The fleet should be in here right now. And by the looks of it we are... Definitely getting some casualties in this fight. Didn't expect them to be mustering up a fleet this size. Mm. This is definitely not going my way. Which is highly unfortunate. You stay there. You stay there as well. Uh, we might want to retreat. Let's do that. There's no, there's no imminent threat. We can just have some fun over here while we wait for this fleet. I was hoping this war was not going to happen right now. But, oh well, what can we do? What can we do? Not as much. So, how many do we lose? 24. Mm. Send everyone in here. It will be in need of defense, that is for sure. Let's send out our ships. This is not enough to stop that uh, fleet, which is quite annoying. So we got the new UV lasers. Yes, please. That is quite lovely. That is really nice. FTL inhibitors. It doesn't matter what you have in here. You, will, you do want these. Because they will stop them just bypassing your stations, which is the most annoying thing that will ever, ever happen. So the hull points are almost there. That's what we're waiting for right now, the hull points. Once we make that tick. It should be back. Okay. Let's take another look at ship designs. All level freeze. All level freeze. Yes. I like. Let's upgrade all of that. It's a lot though. Which is fine. Fine for now. We can always end this war. We can status quo them. But I feel it would be a shame if we were not able to take at least a tiny bit more. Come on, man. You're, 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 your hull should be back. 
There you go. They're back. So, we can upgrade them. But first things first, we're going to be sending them back. We'll heal them later. We want to make sure that we have a presence in this system. That we lose this, I don't care about. We don't see them incoming, so... Hey, let them be. Whatever. Right? And we'll just merge all of these up together. And we'll destroy what needs to be destroyed. We don't need to upgrade them at the moment. Just make sure we have a presence in there. So, you lads. Are you done? Not yet. We could possibly just buy more alloys. Like that. It's not much, but all bits help. Look at that. It's immediately used for this upgrade. A piece of ring from? Yeah, no thank you. Yeah, we're still on 70%. Uh, war exhaust on our part will probably be higher. Apparently it's on theirs that is higher, which is odd. Who else are you fighting? Are you fighting someone else? No, you're just fighting us. Oh, fine by me. Let's uh, merge you lads up. Everyone that's there will be merged. We'll uh, take a look on what we can do to make this into one fleet. Science ship. And then try that one. We know we will be stopped over here. These guys are definitely dangerous. Although they are equivalent. Interesting. So let's slowly let the game pass. And there are transport. When there are transports, there will be fleets. This is going to be our target in a nullification system. We will be well prepared. Since we don't have anything else. They guys are just going to be hammered. I like it. I don't understand why they don't take these two back, but they focus on me. Maybe I am the more the more of a threat than the others, which is surprising, of course. So my fleet is almost done. And we'll take a look here. We only need a few destroyers, actually. But we'll keep this over here. This, this uh, overwhelming presence will be fine. Uh-oh, something is up. Yeah. There are ships, and we have an FTL. This won't work. This, this, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so, look at my armies. I should be well able to defend over there. I will defend first, though. How much do we need? This is already being prepared. Okay, well, make it so, I guess. Can we get more alloys? The alloy price isn't really high. And we're making a very nice amount of here. So let's try to get as much as possible. There you go. Immediately some ships are being ready. Can we... What can we merge with these guys? Can we merge you? Yes, we can. What else? And that's now on 35, apparently. We'll just wait. Let's see, can we merge these? Yes, we can. Can we merge them? No, we are unable to. Go away. Let's push. Let us push. Like I said, I want toward I want to go towards these planets. I want to take all of this and just turtle up in here. As for you, are you still not done? Damn. Damn. Come on. You can do this. There's a bunch of alloys waiting for you. Why don't you grab it? Oh, there we go. There's one more. There we go. Looking good. Getting stronger. I wonder what they will do. Will they start pushing towards their other enemy? I would do that. These are all fine. How many do we still need? Look at that. We're building up so nicely. This is just going we're very slow. We could upgrade to a Starhold. Pushing out more ships. 
but I rather not do that in a war because it will definitely help my war exhaust and attrition. I don't want that. So yeah. Anyways, guys, we had a uh, a good fight. We uh, we did enable. We ha we had a pullback, an unfortunate retreat. Yeah, that's what we call this episode, an unfortunate retreat. Let's uh, make this mining station as well. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I know I am. So if you are as well, then that's just a win-win for me. We'll have to get all of these stations upgraded quite soon. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a miniature swarm. Right on top of us. That's just gorgeous. Yeah, we should be winning this one in sheer numbers. I'm expecting the other fleet to pop in here as well. But with this, we got some research going. Anyways, like I said... Thank you for watching, don't forget to smash the like button, and I'll see you next time, have a good one, bye bye.